below, you may want to share your Blazor components, services, or the C Sharp classes, etc., with your teammates or coworkers. Perhaps you also want to reuse your code or your library in next projects without spend extra time to write the same code again and again. You can pack these C Sharp classes Blazor components into the package and push it into Azure DevOps artifacts or NuGet. What are the difference between Azure Artifacts and NuGet? Artifacts and NuGet are package repositories for the Microsoft development platform. Artifacts mostly focus on the private repository managed by the organization. It integrates with Azure Active Directory and manage the privilege with AAD, whereas NuGet mainly focused on public repository and serves for the .NET development community. Today, I will show you how to compile and pack our code into the package and push it into Azure DevOps artifacts so your coworkers or teammates can reuse your code library without spend time to write the same code again and again. Let's start the demo. First, log in to Azure DevOps by typed dev.azure.com and create the new project. If you already have existing projects inside, the screen may be a little bit different with mind. Try to create the new project. Project name type demo package. You can type some description here if you want, but it is not the requirement field. We select the private repository. Click on Advance. Everything leave by default. Click on Create. Now our new project was created. Click on Artifacts. We will push our package to here. We can either use this default feed or create a new feed. Let us create the new feed. Type Demo as the feed name. We only want to share our package with our organization. So select the second one. Uncheck this checkbox because we only want our own package to show up in NuGet management window. Leave the scope by default and click on create. The new feed was created. Select the drop down here. You will two feeds. One is project scope feed. Other one is organization scope feed. This is the default feed. We will push the package to demo feed here. If you click on connect to fee button, we will use .NET command to push the package. So select .NET here. You will see the information relative to this feed. We will use this information later during the time that we push the package. Now let us open Visual Studio 2022 to create the package and then upload this package to Azure Artifacts. We will create a user management class with a get username method to create the class library. Select File, New, Project to create a new project. Select the drop-down C Sharp window here, Library, and then select Class Library. Click on Next. Project Name Type, User Management Package. Leave everything by default and click Next. Select .NET 8.0 Framework. Click on Create button to create the project. Right-click on Class 1 CS file to change its name to User Management CS. Click Yes. We will implement public get user name method. With the input parameter, employee number, and return the employee name. I hard code name here for demo purpose, but you can place any logic here. Like query the Azure Active Directory to get the employee name or query the database to get employee. Next right click on the project file, select properties. Open up the package in the left side. Check the checkbox here. It will create the package file when we build the project. Type user management in the title.
for package version type 1.0.0. Type your name for the authors. Scroll down. Put some description of your package. This package is used for managing users. It has one method get username by pass the employee number. Scroll down. In release notes, type first release. That's all. Leave everything by default. Change debug to release. Right click the project file to rebuild the project. Now the package file was successfully created. Copy the path and open it. You will see the package file here. We will push this file to Azure Artifact. Now we will use following two commands to push this package into Azure Artifacts. The first one is the add the source whereas the second one is push the package to artifacts. Let you fill out all these missing information like feed URI, feed name, access token name, etc. first. Go back to Azure artifact screen. We can find feed URI and feed name here. This is feed URI. This is feed name. Copy it. And paste it here. Copy the feed URI too. And paste it here. Now we have to create the access token. Click on user setting here. Select personal access token. Click on create the new token for the name field here. You can type any name you want. I type my token and then scroll down to packaging. Check read, write and manage. Finally, click on create button. Copy the access token by clicked on this small icon. Paste the token here. Type the access token name here. Copy the feed name and paste here. For the package path, just copy the package name. Right-click copy the package name. And paste here. Now these two command lines are ready. Let us go back to Visual Studio. Select Tools. Command Line. Developer Command Prompt. It opens the Command Prompt window in my other screen. Move it to here. Change the directory and points to the package file that we created before. Copy the directory. Type cd and paste it here. Press enter. It changes to new directory. Type dir to see our package file is there or not. Here is our package. Next, copy first command line and paste here. Control C copy, Control V paste here, hit enter key. 
The feed demo was successfully added. Copy the second command line. and paste here. The package was pushed successfully. Go back to Azure Artifacts. The package was successfully uploaded to here. Next, we will create a Blazor server app to add this package from NuGet management window and test this package. Now, let us go back to Visual Studio. Right-click on the solution file to add a new project. Select Web in this dropdown. Choose Blazor web app. Click on Next. Change project name to test package. Click on Next. Select 8.0 Framework. Uncheck Configure for HTTPS checkbox. Select Interactive Render Mode to Server. Click on Create. A new project was added to same solution. Right-click on Project File as Startup Project. Right-click on Project File again. Select Manage NuGet Packages. Select the package source dropdown. You will see the demo feed here. If you cannot see it, you can click on the small icon near to the dropdown. It will open the options dialog box. You can click on the pass sign button to add the demo feed manually by yourself. Now select the demo feed. Choose our user management package. Version is 1.0.0. Click on install and apply. Open up the dependencies, packages. You will see the user management package was installed here. Here open up the components and pages folders. Double click on home.razor. We will call the get username from our package and display the name in this page. First using the user management package namespace. Add the private valuable username. Implement and override the on initialized async method. Initialize the user management object users. Call the users get username method from the package and passed in the employee number to get the username and store it into a private valuable username. Now, we will show the username in this page by modified here. Finally, we will complete this project and test our package. Press Ctrl F5 in the keyboard ad to build and run the application. Oh, we get an error. I misspell initialize. It still needs an I. Press Ctrl F5 again. It completed successfully. It opened up the browser and show the username Apple Orange that we hard coded in our package before. Remember that change the package version number if you need to repush the package to artifacts. Otherwise, it will show the error message during the time when you push the package again. That's all for today. Hope you enjoy and learn something from this video. Don't forget subscribe my channel.